Good morning, everyone. Today we're gonna go over, kind of actually a redo of a video I made a couple years ago. How do you uh, properly maintain your truck in the salt belt of the United States, or anywhere for them? Things first, I gotta mess us tools and stuff back here, but uh, we're gonna find our spare tire tools, which I literally don't know where I put them. Oh, they're in this backpack. Um, find your spare tire tools. You're gonna wanna pull these out if you have a lift or access to a lift. Pull these out before, because obviously if you, if you don't, then uh, you won't be able to get to them. And when you go to lift the, or take the spare tire off, you won't have the tools you need. So get those out first, then we're gonna pull the truck in and I'll uh, show you the rest. You will also need a dog for this uh, job. You need an assistant. Um, basically, what do they provide as far as, uh, you know, help on the project? Nothing, nothing actually, just emotional support. Also, uh, let's not forget, you very much don't need a lift to do this. Um, it does it help? Sure. Yeah, of course it helps, but uh, it's not necessary. Um, and I did my last video on the ground, <clears throat> so you can apply all these techniques to that. I'm just going to get a lot better video by having it on the lift, so that's honestly, other than my own convenience, what makes it easier too. Um, also, take any extra supplies you have. And I have these cans, which you'll see why we're using them later out of the truck. I also have some clips, which we'll go over. But the truck's going to be in the air, right? So I can't afford to uh, grab these things after. We'll slap these over here for now. And, uh, I don't know. So once you've gotten your truck or car all uh, safely jacked up, see here, we want to give a quick inspection. Just make sure it's not absolutely filthy underneath. Um, this light's terrible. Hold on a minute, guys. Let's do this real quick. All right. So, for example, right? Okay, we have some dirt and debris the exhaust, but you know it's slightly dirty down here, but nothing crazy. Um, you know, you just want to make sure it's not absolutely filthy underneath. You're gonna spray Crown over a bunch of mud. Um, but my truck's not. My truck looks pretty good, pretty clean. Um, this has 216,000 miles on it, guys, in 05. As you can see, the frame is uh, very rust-free. Um, my only secret, in air quotes, is crown every couple of years. Or, I'm sorry, twice a year. Which is probably a little bit excessive, but I like doing it. And uh, I did sandblast and paint the tail section of the frame four or five years ago now. So, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, they're bad shots, but. So, you know, you got a little bit of rust by the trailer hitch. It's not really structural, though. Um, just surface. Uh, but the hitch is in good shape. These hitches love to rot off. Axle's nice and black still. All the frame in there is all nice and black. Again, this tail section of the frame was PR15, and I, I sandblasted it PR15 it. So, it's a little bit better than it would have looked. But the whole front section, so like what you're about to see right now, that's all original undercoating. Um, uh, so, yeah, kind of crazy. I mean, I might have slapped a coat of paint over it at some point just to make it look nicer. I shouldn't say it's original undercoating in that sense, but I didn't like sandblast or anything. I'm trying to be a full disclosure here. But guys, it's clean. I mean, for an upstate New York truck. The only thing I haven't been able to save is the rockers. They don't have holes, but paint just does not stick to them anymore. I tried to repaint them one time. It just, the paint flakes off. It's amazing, because they're solid. Super solid. They just, the paint won't stick. It's just, they got a little bit of, just enough rust on the backside. But yeah, I crown, I just crown the face of them, as you can see, and they don't really get any worse. They've been like that for years. So, you know, it's not perfect, guys. This is not a magic pill. It's just a rust, super slower -er, <laughs> to put it, uh, <laughs> put it that way. This rocker's a lot better, actually, interestingly enough. Um, and this cab cord has always been weird. You can see I tried to like paint it. It is what it is. So, not a big deal though. Um, overall, can't complain. I just noticed this today. Just starting to get a little bit of rust bubbles here. This is from Rock Chips though. On the other, it's actually super solid. The backside's solid. It's just that there's rust, or uh, rocks chip this up over time. This paint job I put in this truck is, uh, <clears throat> I did, re yeah, they're full disclosure. I did repaint the whole truck in 2020 um, by myself in my garage. Um, but I didn't really do any rust repair. It was just, I did replace the one extended cab door on the, on the passenger side. So, 
This is not a truly original truck. However, I also got it when I was 10 years old. So if I had gotten it new, I think the Crown could have maybe even done more, you know, saved it more. So it's just an experiment, guys. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a real world experiment. Again, I'm not saying it's, it's God, it's not perfect. There might even be better products out there for uh, undercoating. This is just the one that I chose. So, I know you guys, we'll keep going. The thing you want to check that people don't think about is your spare tire carrier. So if you look, that's a piece of tape, but if you lift this, these two pieces up, the spring and the holder, the cables love to rust right there. Now this one's doused in crown, of course, but right where my pinky is, they love to rust. And your tire will fall off the truck and wind up in the road and potentially kill somebody if you're not careful. So take it pretty seriously because if that ever were to happen, I mean, aside from the fact that somebody just got seriously injured or died, the liability and the freaking insurance and ugh, you don't wanna deal with that. So take care of your spare tire holder. All right, so I like to start at the front. And basically you can pull these uh, skid plates. I don't personally because I found that there's so much engine oil and stuff that leaks over time that they're pretty covered with that and things don't get really rusty. But uh, you can if you want. And then I just start from the front, basically get my spray gun, just start shooting it at metal parts. Pretty simple. Any holes in the frame like this, there's a little chunk of rust there, but any holes in the frame, I'll shoot it in. You can get fancy, you can get the wands and use those, but I've just never felt the need for it. So this is the way I do it. So I'm gonna just get spraying, I'll put you guys down. So now that we got the uh, whole undercarriage done, there's just a couple of odds in it. I actually use the cans, usually, just because it's easier. So I'll do the tailgate. So I'll go in here, just kind of do a fanning pattern. Basically just go in every hole. Do you actually hit all the insides? No, probably not. However, I've actually had this tailgate apart, and I sprayed the whole tailgate down, um, and, and definitely hit all the inside parts, and also, <coughs> Really, the only spot that's going to rot for the most part is down here. So as long as you hit all that stuff, you're usually going to be okay. All this rust is from something I had in here. It's not like rust from the truck. It's I need to clean it, though. It's disgusting. I, I refuse to admit how long it's been in there, too. It's kind of hard to do this one-handed. Let's try a new technique here. There we go. Just kind of getting in there. Every single drain hole will fill with crown. You can see all the crown and dirt that's accumulated over the years on here, see? So that just goes to show you how good this stuff stays. And then the last thing <clears throat> for the tailgate that I'll do is, uh, man, it's getting to be allergy season. Anyway, for the tailgate, 
take this guy here, sneak her in up in here, just give it a good once over, and then try to hit your uh, tailgate latch too. Help keep it in good shape. And I forgot there. And then I'll leave the tailgate down like this to help let it spread on that outside surface. Because that's where your rust's gonna be, if anywhere. I already did this with the with this main spray gun. I just go behind the wheel wells, all up and around. Critical spot, especially if you have flares. Um, <clears throat> these trucks love to rust right here. So for winter, I'll do that, not for summer. And yeah, I know it drips on the paint, but I don't care. Thought I have it not rust. And I like to just try to glance the back of the door gas cap because they love to freaking rust on these trucks. But it makes a mess. It is what it is. Again, I'd rather have it not rust. Um, here, I drilled holes in the face of the rockers. I also sprayed the rockers from the backside. But uh, I highly recommend doing this because these rockers on these trucks suck. Or really any truck, honestly. So... Look at all that. Guys, keep in mind, right? Especially with this, I'm going into what I call winter mode here. Um, you know, it's not gonna look pretty, right? You're gonna have dripping oil and stuff everywhere, but if it keeps the truck alive, I mean, it's a trade-off, right? This thing would have rust if I didn't do this, so. I personally will take the trade off any day of the week. That's just me though. I like to hose that down a little bit right there. And we'll do the doors. Oh yeah, I like to go until the doors leak like that. And then there is another, there's a little bit of a hole right there. So I like to hit that up good and then you can hit this drain hole right here. And then we'll just kind of glance all that. And then just hose down the bottom there. It's only October 1st and I'm doing this, but I got some busy weeks coming up and I'm not driving the truck much. So I'll just sit here and solidify, which is going to be actually a good thing for it. Do more here. There's only two drain holes on this door too. So you kind of got to let it run for a while. It actually does make its way over better than you might think. Hard to do one handed. Alright. Hose that down. Watch out, dog. I just noticed him over there. And then we're gonna go over here. This is the front fender right here, the back side. Just get all that sprayed down. Cause that'll freaking rust. And then I like to hit my door slider right here. Hit your hinges. It's great lubricant too. Go back and hit these hinges. And that slider. Boom! That's it. Put your little plugs back in. If you did what I did here. And that's really all. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Alright guys, so we are all crowned and ready for winter. Like I said, it's only October 1st, so I'm a little premature, but I just wanted to get it done. I got some trips coming up. I'm going to be out of state multiple times between now and snowfall, so... I'd rather it just be done, and even if it gets a little bit, you know, depleted slightly from having been, you know, put on, so to speak, too soon, I'm okay with that. I'll touch it up and whatever, so not a big deal. Um, as you can see, you know, we got all the door jams in these holes, and there's all residue everywhere, but uh, that's part of the game. So what I like to do is let it, you want to let it sit for at least 24 hours before driving in the rain, preferably more. Um, if you can at all help it, if it's your daily driver, just try to pick a day where it's not going to rain for, you know, a few days after, and then you can still wash it. Just don't power wash the crap out of the undercarriage. Even in the winter, just let the solid debris sit on it. I know that sounds backwards, but, uh, clean it out here. I know that sounds really backwards, but honestly it's better. And, and if you go to the crown website, they actually recommend it. So the only time I power wash the undercarriage is if I'm going to crown right after, uh, you know, once it dries. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Um, any questions, drop them in the comments. God bless America. See you on the next one.